Final exercise in my ab routine. Again, I'm sticking with an additional rotational exercise. So, as you've seen, I've done all of my lower and upper abdominals as supersets, first off in the ab routine. And then I'm hitting more of the obliques after, towards the end. And the main reason for that is I wanna put all my focus and strength, rather, into my lower abdominal exercises. It takes a lot more effort because of half my body weight to lift and curl my hips forwards and my legs up than it does to rotate my upper body round. So like with the larger muscle groups when you train chest and legs and back, you wanna hit the biggest muscle groups first which require the most energy and then as your energy starts to decrease throughout the workout, you start to isolate them more and work the smaller muscle groups within that body group. So on this one, I'm doing a single arm cable rotation. Um, and also it's worth pointing out here that except on the Swiss ball when I was doing the side bend with a rotation, I very rarely, or I do now at least, do any side bends. You see a lot of guys I'm sure holding plates or with bars doing side bends down like this. Great, nice exercise if you want to build up a blockier waist. I personally, I look better when I have more of a V taper in my waist here, a smaller, tighter, more muscular waist good nice kind of toned abdominal region and then more of a taper coming up with bigger wider shoulders as opposed to having a blockier waist here whereby I just feel bigger and one of the reasons for that is when you do side bends you're building up the thickness the muscle around the waist here so if you want to have a smaller tighter more muscular waist leave out the side bends maybe with the, with the exception of doing the uh, Swiss ball side bend and rotation because A, you're not using much weight at all, and it's more of the rotation that's involved in the muscle than it is the side bend. So that's mainly the reason. I want to have a small, tight waist. And this is a great exercise for achieving that. Single arm cable rotation. Very similar setup to the double arm cable one. It's just that we're going to have one arm down and add a rotation in. So again, that elbow closes the gap, the angle, between this and the opposing knee. Let me show you. Like with all ab exercises that I've done today, I've kept everything fixed. The arm between, or the distance between my forearm and my bicep is remaining fairly fixed. And by that I mean I'm not straightening my arm and using the muscles in my arm, shoulders and bicep to pull that weight down as I close the gap. Everything is fixed here. If you imagine that your whole upper body is fixed in plaster, it's immovable. I can't move any limbs or joints. But all I can do is come down and rotate. That's the movement. And it's fluid as well, like with the side bend and rotate, it's simultaneous. I come down as I rotate, I rotate as I come back up. This muscle, think about what you're working. Think, when I'm doing this exercise, what muscle can I feel working? Should I be feeling that working? What other muscles are being worked? Think about isometrically tensing that muscle. You know, we can all do that bodybuilding pec dance. I'm not gonna do it now. All right, it's that. Where you move the pecs up and down, that's because I'm thinking about engaging and contracting the muscle, independent of doing the movement. It's the same mind-body connection that you wanna have, that, that mind and muscle connection that you wanna practice and build up so that when you're doing this exercise, I can think, okay, abdominal, oblique, rotation, fire. You know, here's a good little tip. When you're driving, or when you're sat at work, or when you're doing anything, even laying in bed at night, think about contracting your abs, and maybe holding for up to 10 seconds. This is a game I used to play when I worked back in London. <laughs> and we had traffic lights everywhere. I'd be driving, and I'd come to a green light, and I'd go through that light and think, okay, I'm gonna contract and hold my abs here until I go through three more green lights. Not so much of a game, but it really did teach me discipline in controlling abs. And I, I can remember times when I used to come to a red light 
and I'd be sat there for nearly a minute having to hold my abs in tight, squeezing, but it taught me really good discipline. And I'm now using that ability that I've built up and learned so that when I'm doing my ab exercises, I'm again connecting that mind and muscle connection and strengthening it so that when I do the exercise, I can really call on and engage that muscle. Okay, enough talking. Let me do the other side and you can see how it looks from where you are there. So again, keep everything fixed, momentum, breathing and control. there you have it. That really is all I do for my abs. Nothing too special, nothing out of the ordinary, just good control technique, focus and discipline. Now I want to talk about a few things about the ab workout. First of all, when should you be doing abs? Well, my answer to that is whenever you have time. I personally do them early morning after my cardio without eating. And the reason for that is I want my abs to be nice and flat. I want my gut to be flat. I don't want to have an eaten food and then my body having to digest food which is one of the most energy consuming things that your body can do and secondly I want my body to be burning fat for fuel so by waking up early and by doing some form of cardio and I alternate between steady pace and high intensity interval training or HIIT for short cardio no more than 30-40 minutes and then straight into this ab workout that I've just shown you um, my abs are nice and tight I can really feel them having to work and then you know what here's the thing I can go off and do my day having done my cardio having done my abs and feeling good about myself now in addition to that is because I've trained my abs psychologically I'm gonna be always conscious of the foods I'm eating anything that I drink had I've not trained abs or done cardio you know the odd cheap food here and there the odd missed meal the odd beer after work you know we all do it um, doesn't seem to have that much of an effect but when you train out and work out in the morning hitting your cardio and abs you're going to be that much more consciously aware throughout the day of everything you eat and everything you do now what about eating before working out well yes you do need food but early morning your body's fasted all night um, you have a period of about 10 to 12 hours from your last meal before you need to consume again now you can take certain supplements such as glutamine and amino acids to help protect the muscle from being catabolized and being broken down but I don't want to talk too much about nutrition and supplementation now that's for another day this has been about the exercise the form and the technique of the workout um, but really you can do them anytime you can do them after your weight workout you can do them if you have 10 minutes just spare get the abs done build up to learning a routine and disciplining yourself Next question, how many? What about repetitions, time, intensity, period, frequency? Well, here's what I say. Do the circuit in one full circuit. Aim for between 15 to 25 repetitions for the full abdominal exercises. And if you're doing any of the rotational ones, of course you have both the sides to cater for. So maybe 10, 12, 15 repetitions. And there's no limit really. I normally do 50 repetitions of each of the exercises we do, with about 30 reps of each side. And I do the whole circuit three times. Now, if you do the math, that's nearly a thousand reps on abs. Now, I would never normally do that many repetitions for any other body parts, but like I said earlier, the abdominals are a pretty exclusive uh, uh, muscle mature structure. You know, they have several sheaths of muscle which are cross section and very close to the heart and lungs, which means they rapidly reoxidize. They get blood and oxygen into them very quickly, so you can punish them hard. Now, I don't mean go and load up the weight and try and lift as heavy as you can, but if you feel, you can do high repetitions, high volume, that's the key here. A lot of reps, a lot of different sets, and incorporate a lot of different variables, such as repetitions, technique, rest periods, superset, drop sets, there's a whole host of different variations and techniques that you can add into 
abdominal training that you may not think about using for other exercises, such as when you train chest or legs. So make sure you incorporate and vary a lot of the different techniques that I've talked about for your ab workout. So do one full circuit, see how you feel, and then build up and try and do two and even a third. It takes me about 30 minutes to do the full ab workout. So, you know, if you can do one circuit in about 10, 12 minutes, then, you know, you're on time to be able to build up and get three full circuits in of anywhere from 20 up to 50 repetitions each set. Final thing, have fun with it. It's all about variation, like I said. Modify the exercises. One week, maybe do a certain set of exercises and keep notes of the weights, repetitions, and time that you've done it. Next week, maybe try something different, and then the week after, come back to that first work set and try and at least replicate the same repetitions and the same weight, and if not, add five more reps to each set. Try and intensify and progress, that is the key. Everything that you do should try and progress and advance. Anyway, for more information, go to check out my fitness website, Rob richesfitness.com I'm going to have more videos on there contest prep nutrition upcoming projects photos and you can ask me anything from there and I'll do my best to get back to you and answer so until next time my name is Rob Richards pro WBFF fitness model and lifetime drug free natural competitor and you've been watching my favorite abdominal exercises so until next time take care look after yourself and have fun with ab training okay bye